Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and today I'm doing my three days with Windows 10. Hello guys, this is Eric again. On my last video I ranted very 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 bad about Windows 10 and all the problems I was having and today I'm getting this update and for some strange reason uh, Microsoft is sending automatic updates um, and you got to remember today is Thursday August 6 of 2015 and Microsoft is sending out updates guys so hopefully that will fix some of the stability issues some of the crashing some of the issues that we was having with Windows 10 Remember on my last video, and I'm going to leave a description up on the screen that you can check it out. My rant was I was having multiple crashes. Uh, most of my devices didn't want to work. I had to re-download all drivers to make stuff work. And But today, Microsoft is sent, sending out an update. And, and uh, they are sending out updates to fix Windows 10. Um, it's a slow update. My my Wi-Fi is pretty fast. Uh, let's check it out. Let's see how fast. I know I had a lot of problems with uh, Wi-Fi, but uh, let's check and see uh, what's going on with the Wi-Fi. I want to make sure my Wi-Fi connection is great. So uh, let's go on to do a speed test. All right. So so we're gonna do a speed test and see how fast. My Wi-Fi is running. I'm on a when, uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 3 i5, 256 gigabytes of storage, along with eight gigs of RAM. So right now my Wi-Fi is running about 40 megs per second. So my download speed ain't that bad. Just don't understand why the download is taking so long. And see, I'm still at 49%. That's interesting. And it may be a big update. I'm not sure. Let's check details. Ah, look at this update. Waiting for download. Well, let's click here. And right here, it's saying install this update to resolve issues in Windows. For a complete listing of issues that are included with this update, see, blah, blah, blah. There we go, so we are waiting for download. And this update was sent out on 8.4. And, and I just got this update on 8.6. So, uh, about two days late, Microsoft. Yeah, still 49%. Waiting for download. Huh. It was some strange reason that Windows 10 came out and it wasn't polished. And I know we went through this with Windows 7. God, Windows Vista, you know, was bad and, you know, XP was great. But we had this problem again. Wow, we had this problem with Windows 8. Remember, guys, that in Windows 8, that's why we came out with Windows 8.1 when Microsoft had to fix Windows. But again, let's look at that and see where we at here. Huh. Okay, let's retry. It gave me an error. I did a re... I, I rebooted it. So, it gave me an error, and there we go, ah! So now I got an error after I did the reboot. Now let's retry again. Ah, there we go. So right now it's downloading the updates. Uh, I guess it started all over again, so I'm at 0%. I was at 49% before I rebooted, so right now I'm at 0%, so I guess the whole download has to do, ah, there we go. It popped all the way up to 45%, guys. Some strange reason, I guess when I first started the video, it was stuck at 49%, uh, 46%, and uh, it didn't want to do anything. So what I did was I did a reboot. And once I did a reboot, then uh, it gave me an error on the Windows update. And now it's, go it's downloading 
and it's going pretty quick if you saw my speed test that I did earlier yeah, I'm running about 40 meg so that wasn't the problem uh, my mouse wasn't working uh, my Bluetooth speakers wasn't working uh, nothing was working at the time of the install uh, after I did the install please check out my how to install Windows 10 and also my 24 hours with Windows 10 uh, and I'm gonna leave links to those videos here on the screen so check those two videos out but as of right now it's downloading and I'm at 58% so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed up the video pause the video and we're going to get back with you in a few right. hey youtubers I'm back and the update is complete so uh, what happened was the update rebooted the uh, my computer once then it came back up and they rebooted again and then they came back up and now I'm back so let's take a peep here see if, if anything is new uh, I can see right now all my uh, emails popped up real quick and I'm running the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 um, and it's really really good don't have any issues with that all right guys so and I'm still having this storage issue here now my one drive has grown a lot over the last three days I'm at 128 gigs if you look at my previous video I was like 108 gigs 110 gigs so I'm still investigating on how my PC has grown and uh, to 128 gigs so I'm working on that and I'm gonna keep you up to date with the T that's going on here and the thing about it is I have all my documents going to my D drive which is my micro SD card and I got all my music all my pictures all my videos going to my micro SD card so it's no way I, I should be using this much it's no way now I do remember when I tried to do a, um, a disk cleanup, they have the old version of Windows 8 still on my PC. Now I believe that's taking up a lot of my storage. And you can always, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video on how to delete the old Windows software. But I believe that that's taking up a lot of my hard drive space. And you might be having the same problem that after you update to Windows 10, and if you go to disk cleanup, you're gonna see Windows 8 still on your PC. And so let's go on and investigate that why why we're here. Let's go on and see. Let's go to my C drive. Okay, here we go, right there. Windows old. Now that was some of the issues we, you know, as, as a tech reviewer, we always, when we update or mess around with the system or put new operating systems in, we always would have Windows O. So right now, uh, let's see here, 300, uh, size larger than 354 gigs. So Windows O, let's look at the properties here. Ah, look at that. See if you can get a close up of that. And this is right now, it's on my main hard drive. See if we can get a close up of that. And it's still going 18.6 gigs of my hard drive is because of Windows 8 that still is, that still is on my system here. So if I delete this file, which is Windows O, I will gain 18.6 gigs. So that's something, yeah, I'm gonna do another video on when you delete this here, how much you would you gain? And again, basically all I did was I went to my C drive and you have what's called Windows O. This is the old Windows here. Uh, which can be deleted. I just want to give you kind of more of a, a Three days here with Windows 10. I don't want to hold this video up too long uh, But overall performance been kind of hit and miss. Uh, I haven't used Cortana since the first video uh, So I don't know if she's 
obviously with the new update here, she probably got better. So let's take a look. Let's say, hi, Quatana. Hey, Quatana. Hello, Quatana. See, it's supposed to be voice recognition. Uh, but, uh-oh, here we go. So I have to fill in the blanks. Um, again, name or nickname. I'm going to put my name here. She said she want to keep track of me. That's scary. How about privacy? All right, so let's see. Hi, Quatana. Hey, Quatana. What's the weather like today? The forecast shows mostly cloudy skies with a high of 92 and a low of 67. Well, unfortunately, I am not in Boulder, Colorado, so uh, unfortunately, she has this wrong. Thank you very much for looking at my video. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. See you on the next video. Thank you. Have a good day. Peace.